What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can change the size of the images without cropping using the content aware scale tool in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And if you'd like to follow along, make sure to download the photo that I'm going to be using in the link in the description. And I got it from unsplash.com. So what we want to do is to actually change the aspect ratio and the crop without heavily cropping in on the photo. Because let's say you've got a portrait image and you want to flip it to a landscape image. The only way to realistically do that without using the effect I'm just about to show you is simply cropping in on the photo. So you've got a lot of information at the top and a lot of information at the bottom that you're not going to be using in the final result. But this way, I'm going to be able to show you, by doing that, you're actually going to stretch the pixels without creating a stretch effect, because that is something we do not want to do when we're editing a photo. Creating very long rectangular pixels do, 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 or does not work, but this way does. So what I'm going to do is firstly, let's go ahead and change the crop. So what we're going to do is going to go to our C on our keyboard, or you can go ahead to the left-hand side using the crop tool. Now this, as you can see, if we actually chose this, we're cropping in and losing all the information at the top and bottom. So instead, we're actually going to drag that outwards. So we're going to make it slightly larger than the canvas photo itself. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and click OK. So at this point, as you can see, on the left and right-hand side, we've got some transparent pixels. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the image by actually using content-aware scale to fill in the blanks. So what we're going to do is make sure we've got our layer selected here. So we've got our layer here. Then what we're going to go up to image. And then what we're going to do is drop down to content aware scale. And once you've done that, if you have already created a selection, but I have not done in this case, make sure you've got protect. You can always choose that as a protection. And then you can go ahead and drag the keyboard. Make sure you've got shift collected. And then you're going to go ahead and drag that over to the right. And then you're going to go ahead and drag that over to the left. And then all you'll need to do is click OK on the top corner here. And as you can see, we have stretched the image without affecting the person in the middle. Because what we've done is we've taken each pixel and we've duplicated it along, and that has actually stretched the photo without stretching the individual pixels. And there we go, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. You can find my latest two minute tutorials just here and my latest videos just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.